Hey guys, oh you all well. Right, continuing with the Enfield Bobber project. So, uh, as I said before, I'm trying to share every single job on this. So, I know some of it might be a little bit boring, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how much work sort of goes into one of these builds. So, all the nitty gritty bits, the boring bits, the simple bits, the hard bits, the good bits, the shiny bits, I'm trying to share the lot. So next, as you've seen on the previous video, we've virtually finished the cylinder head. I've got a little bit to do on there, but I'll, I'll sort of do that in the background. I think you get the idea what's going on there. Uh, the barrel, next. As I showed you briefly in the previous video, we've still got a little bit of a mess to tidy up. So all these like, I call them swelly bits where the castings sort of the web sort of left there we're going to try our best to get rid of as much as that as possible then just work our way round as you can see it's not too bad but we're still going to scoot round it and tidy it up a bit it literally is mainly that part here which is at the side it's, uh, which makes it obviously well and truly visible so we do want to sort that out so that's what we're going to do next again a bit of savagery with the grinder and then doing a bit of fine detail with any of the other tools whatever suits yeah the cylinder head all i've got to actually do on this now is basically take some of the sharpness off the edges because we don't want no sharp edges for the powder coating so that'll only take me a few moments and I'll do that later on after we've attended this so yeah we'll get cracking right what we'll do first is take the face off to start with and then I'll see better well, basically all the wonky bits and start working at them see a little bit better now let's get a bit closer these uh, lumps all down this line here and down here and where we've got differences the thicknesses we're gonna try and iron some of that out better I need to get something now to go in between them and tidy the webbing up in there okay this should do the job Just going to rough round all the uh, 
all round the fins now. Okay, so uh, we've got that a lot better now. I'd say it's, di it's difficult to know how it's going to look on camera. Um, I'd say it's only so far I can push this without losing too much material. All I'm doing is trying to do our best to, to improve it as much as possible. So on this, we've got some radiuses in there. So I'm just running the old drum sander down there just to tidy them up a little bit just to smooth them out as best as we can down there as well That's a little bit better. All right, let's put these two bits together, see what they look like. Yeah, I think we're getting there now. I'll probably spot a few more bits here and there. Uh, I'll sort of going to leave it for a while now like I say you can get a bit blind to it all and uh, you'll walk away or look at it tomorrow and I'll spot another little bit but this is going to be hanging around for a few days anyway so if I do spot anything I can sort it out but it's a lot better than what it was that's for sure uh, I know uh, probably some of you were thinking because obviously we know now that we're going to go black with this engine I know some of you are going to be thinking of doing the end of the fins leaving them bare uh, that would be great yes it is a lot more work but although we have improved it I don't think it's really good enough to be able to do that to, to do that the, the castings have got to be absolutely perfect uh, across the edge of them fins you know it does get a bit thicker in places a bit thinner in places it has got areas like that it's not bad but if I was to obviously we're going to get it done in that really fine sort of wrinkle finish and if I was to leave the ends or like sort of dress them back when it's black to expose the bare alloy with the black and the alloy it will amplify anything and make it really stand out so leaving it black will sort of mask these little bits that are not quite right for me to like get them perfect I don't know 
we could end up getting into a bit of a mess with it, to be honest with you, if we was to try and go down that road. But yeah, it'll probably look all right from a distance doing that. But then again, Birmingham looks okay from space. <laughs> I like things to look good close up as well. I think to leave it completely black, that is our best option. Although I agree, it would look great with the end of the fins left bare alloy. But I don't think I'm going to do that. But again, with all new fixings on there, all new nuts, bolts, especially with the... The oil lines that we'll make, I'll be making the oil lines in the copper pipe and everything. With all these bits dressed up onto the engine, even leaving it all black, it will start to look good with all the new screws here, there and everywhere on there. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the end of the fins in bare alloy. I think it'll probably look worse if we go down that route. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit on the base of the engine now because again that's a mess as you see <laughs> the gearbox is absolutely terrible the engine in fact let me drag it across so we can see uh, there's going to be several bits to tidy up on this that sort of common with them all uh, one being this join here always completely offset so this bit the bit that's actually hidden beyond the front engine bracket is okay nice and flush but this bit up here I shall see it we have a massive difference from one side to the other again it's like they haven't quite got the uh, the castings right the actual moulds so yeah we've got this great big step here that is visible um, other bits on these we won't see it properly yet because it's far too dirty this bit down here one of the oil drains this is normally absolutely terrible I guarantee it will be when we get all that muck off there so we've got to put all that back into shape and also have a look round on top when all this is clear down in the ear which you can also see you got massive differences from one side to the other because the joint of the engine is straight down the middle here I'll describe a little line in there so yeah there's a huge step in there which we'll dress up as well uh, other things obviously you won't see none of this it's behind the primary what else we got We'll just generally just check over everything, but mainly it's this down here and this big step here. So just before we end this video, we'll just have a go at this top bit. We won't finish it, but we'll just start, make a start and make it a little bit better. Right, the chosen tool, the belt sander. So we'll start with getting the, uh, the higher bit down first. Then we'll have to dress this side to put the step back in this side and keep working on each side to try and sort of even it all out. Now this part of the casting is extremely thick. So we've got plenty to mess about with, plenty of material without sort of jeopardizing the strength of the engine casing. Need a new uh, belt on there.
right, we're starting to get that line back in. I don't know how you can see that. We're just going to rough this out a little bit just to give you an idea of where we're going with it. So now we've got to come down this side, carefully trying to keep it straight. Because at the minute, there's, well, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing there on this side. Let's move the camera around a bit. When there should be a lip, I'll say. Starting to get the shape back into that side. It's not finished, so we're just going to rough it out. Right, gloves on. Let's have a go at the other side. Carefully coming down in a straight line. Okay, it's starting to get this side sorted now. I say it's all a bit rough. Oh. See you, Blue. <laughs> You'll probably notice that you ain't seen Blue as much. As that weather gets colder, he doesn't come up the shed as much, and I can't blame him. I've actually got to finish the insulation off as well, but it's getting there. It's getting there, I've got to get all this end done, look. And then down that wall, then down that side. And hopefully it'll be a bit warmer in here, but uh, it's getting better. Anyway, back to the engine. So we're getting this line in. Uh, I'll say it look a bit rough. We've also got this big dip here. Again, it's not damage, that's, that's how it is. <laughs> But as you can see, we have got plenty of material to mess about with to lose that. So it's getting late now, so I'm probably just going to do a little bit of dressing up on this and then we'll call it a day. Get the gloves on. Keep my, keep my delicate little hands nice and warm. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to keep taking this down. We have, like I say, we've got plenty of material to mess with till we lose that, because that will just look terrible if we don't. Bless you! Bless you! Come on then, let me finish this. Right, we've nearly got rid of that. It's nearly gone.
That's getting a little bit better. We're heading in the right direction with that. There's still a fair bit to do. Like I say, we just quickly roughed it out and got the shape back to how it actually should be. So we'll work on that a bit more in the next video plus the other areas on this like I say we've got this bottom bit down here and also I forgot to mention this bit last time this is quite rough and obviously this is at the top of the engine so we want all that nice as well so we'll work on all them bits I'm doing all these bits before the engine actually comes apart because obviously I want the two sides to match. We don't want them big steps. We don't want all the mismatching between the two halves of the engine. So we'll get a fair bit done to this before we crack this engine into two. Same with the gearbox. Before we take all that apart, we're gonna get all the castings done and make sure everything fits because we've got several layers on the gearbox as well that need to match. So we've got the outside. We've got this section here. If you can see the, the join there so that that and then the main part of the gearbox and let's just get a little bit of a wire brush on there again these are just very very rough they are very rough so yeah before the gearbox comes apart we'll do all that because we're going to strip all that out as well replace bearings and seals so everything is literally like brand new Anyway, again, it's getting late, it's getting cold. So I think that'll do for this video. Next one, we'll just keep on, keep on pressing forward. And yeah, each bit is another step further to being finished. <laughs> Although we're a bit of a way off, but we're gonna keep plowing on anyway. Thanks everyone again for all the support. Massive thank you to all the patrons. You guys are very, very, very much appreciated. Because without the kindness of you guys, this would be next to impossible. So I appreciate you guys immensely. A massive thank you to all the guys and girls that have bought special stickers. That's obviously helping this bike come together. Anyway, that'll do. See you very, very soon. Continuing with this engine. Cheers for watching guys, take care.